Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. Okay, I'm back. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. What? What? What got out of here? <laughs> They pay his kids. <laughs> <laughs> we okay. don't die, we multiply. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> okay. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Khususan ala la khulufair rashidin al mahdiin. Ma'abad. Okay, so. Good evening, everybody. I see my see my big brother on here, Luke Ma, Jersey. What's up? Stand up, Jersey. <laughs> where you where you at, Colin? In uh, Ottawa, Canada. In Ottawa, Man, you Canada. in Canada? Yep. <laughs> Did you move there, or are you from there? I'm from I'm from Toronto originally, right? So, and do you know, do you know Drake? No. <laughs> 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 had to ask, man. <laughs> I'm gonna let. No, I don't know. Okay, so everybody pretty let. much. Oh man, I'm gonna. I got of trouble with this phone. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Uh, so everybody pretty much knows me. Mm -hmm. Take a second while I finish my unprofessionalism over here. <laughs> and, uh, tell who you are, Inshallah. <laughs> Inshallah, no problem. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hayakum Allah. Bismillah wa salatu wa salam wa salam wa barat. My name is uh, Bilal, right? Uh, also known as Colin, as you mentioned, right? I have a YouTube channel called The Features, in which I deal with a lot of um, issues within the Black community, particularly the Black Muslim community. It's all real, <laughs> and it's all like. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you've seen some of the stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like we 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 don't we don't um, pull any punches there, and I bring all the receipts, all the goods, and I basically, uh, you know, fill this void that you know has been kind of neglected since the time I've been Muslim, and that is dealing with issues in amongst uh, black Muslims because by and large we have been ignored largely ignored and actually told explicitly to shut up about our issues That's you know black true. people yeah black very people who are Muslims you know we've been told explicitly not to deal with that black stuff and Islam is is not is not about racism and Islam is not about race we're all brothers in Islam and blah 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 yeah. <laughs> And, 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 and there's no no African Americans uh, or uh, mm -hmm. Toronto black black Toronto uh, yes. Canadians in the in the head schools uh, yeah. and and going over getting sent overseas and then to come back and be the mm -hmm. uh, the the mus the, the Imam of the Masjid yeah <laughs> so as long as we're okay with taking the back seat and. You know, letting our uh, foreign brothers and sisters, namely the out up in the Pakistanis, to uh, take mm -hmm. care of everything, then you know we are all right. But the moment we we say, "Hold up, now I know some Quran mm -hmm. too." <laughs> yeah, it's like a brother. <laughs> 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 it's a fitna, brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Of course, you know, and all of this is is um, it's actually social engineering. I put out. Um, some of the receipts on that from a book from a brother, uh, Ma uh, Michael Abraham, Michael Abraham. And he, he wrote this book for Muslims who are sending their children to public school. And in the beginning of the book, he gives a historical breakdown. And in that book, he basically says that Arabs were here since the 1930s and they were essentially participating in white supremacy in order to get the bag, right? And so that's that's my translation. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. That's, my, right. that's, I mean, that's, that's what happened. Like, yeah, right. Like so said, he put the all the time, there, like so. they didn't come here for the thing. <laughs> like, yeah, they, they didn't had, come yeah. for for religion, right? So, and he actually wrote this in his book, and he said that 
when Noble True Ali uh, became Muslim, they just kind of like wrote him off as a ca kafir, right? But they didn't take into consideration that he himself didn't know Quran. He didn't know like Arabic or anything like right. that. Right. But he just kind of accepted Islam based upon whatever little knowledge that he had. Right. right? And he put right. that in the book. And on top of that, we didn't know who they were until Malcolm X anyways. Yeah, right. <laughs> you understand that? And then we started seeing them talking about, you know, Elijah Muhammad's not Muslim and all that kind of stuff, right? So, and, but any, at any rate, mm. the whole point is that my channel deals with that stuff. And I don't, I don't uh, pull any punches. I say exactly what it is, how it is with the receipts. Whoever like it, like it. Whoever hate it, hate it. But to be quite honest, uh, you know, I've been Muslim now uh, since uh, 1990. And I've seen a lot of stuff. And I can tell you, uh, without a doubt, there is a social engineering project with regards to Black people in the Muslim community. Mm. And this is nothing, this is nothing new. Mm. As a matter of fact, uh, th these projects started way even before uh, white people ended up in Africa. Mm. You understand? With the Muslims themselves. I put all the stuff out there. I, I put how Arabs are enslaving uh, black Africans today. Not back in the day. Today. Right now. Mm. You know? In Libya. In in uh, Alger Algeria. In Tunisia. In, in uh, Lebanon. You know what I mean? In the Khaliji countries, you know, we're talking about enslavement. You understand? And I show all this stuff. I show how, uh, you know, basically all every other people group, their misogyny are in increasing, except for black people mm -hmm. in the West. They're the only people group. And mind you, our his if, if it wasn't for our history of Islam here in the West, you probably wouldn't see any foreigners because That's it was... True. It was black people who were standing up for civil rights and all this kind of stuff, right? And the Easterners <laughs> came here and benefited off of the blood and the struggle of black people. That's and on true. top of that, turned around, spat in our face and telling us, you know, oh, brother, Islam is not racism. It's like, <laughs> you can miss me with that mess. Yeah, but anyway, I heard it all. I I believe me, you. I didn't heard it all, man. <laughs> but anyways, anyways, my channel is called The Features, right? Uh, right now, I have a strike on my channel, so I'm not able to upload on my channel right now. Maybe in a couple of days, inshallah, that might be able to upload, yeah, right? But that happens to me quite often. People, but they didn't report as you? Yeah, I, I get reported all the time, man. I get on reported YouTube? all the time. Yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, all the that time. Allah, from, man. They, from both they... from both Sufis and Salafis. <laughs> both. <laughs> I'm, I'm an equal opportunity hate person, man. They both hate me. Wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? But, we, got, uh, uh, we got uh the good the good brother Ustad Abu Isa Gooding. Oh, no. He's uh, inshallah, mm -hmm. um, you know, he may be like in the sec, the part two of this uh, this little series. Uh, he, I want him mm. to be in on it. He, uh, good brother, knowledgeable brother, African American brother. Uh, he out the, out the yeah, east coast, inshallah, Hanbali, good, strong Hanbali brother. He got some strong opinions. He, I mean, he's strong. <laughs> I'm talking about, he, you know, I, you know, I, 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 you know I, I'm a little. I'm cool with everybody, you know what I mean? But yeah. brother, he got some strong reservations. Mm -hmm. So inshallah, uh, sure. if we can't work it out, then uh, you know, I gotta tag him in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, he'll go do a uh inshallah. I just got back uh from vacation, alhamdulillah, to celebrate my <laughs> one year anniversary. Alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. So uh I was I got thrown off track a little bit with some of this. So uh me and him gonna do um <clears throat> A video, uh, a video series, inshallah, uh, given a lens because you know there's some connections with the Salafia and uh, uh, Hanabila, mm -hmm. and uh, the I know a group of Hanabila that are not so happy about that. You know they okay. kind of <laughs> like hold up, like you know mm -hmm. we ain't our folks, we ain't got nothing to do with that. Yeah. Uh, but that we'll get to all of that. 
But uh, yeah. so inshallah, we'll jump so, in. But before, before we begin, I have to, um, I have to tell you. First of all, I'm very honored that to be on your channel. Actually, I'm a big fan. I told you this already. You know, I just want to let the people know, right? Because I'm, I'm not sure how many of uh, your audience and and uh, my audience they intersect, right? But however, uh, those people who do watch my stuff on YouTube, they know right away. Right away, and I say this all the time. I'm not a sectarian. I believe sectarianism is um, a tool used by the enemy in order to specifically divide black people because Islam is new in the West. You understand? True. And yeah, the people yeah, yeah. Who, who accepted Islam the most were the black, black diaspora. Yeah, yeah. And of course, the enemy, the enemy, they infiltrated our ranks, which is what they do. We shouldn't be surprised. And there's no doubt in my mind, there's no doubt, and I say this, I, that there's no way that all the sectarianism is organic. <laughs> it's, it's impossible. It's impossible. I'm sorry. No way. If, if it nobody. is now, it would have always had been. And that exactly. the case. <laughs> and that wasn't the case. You know? I, I became Muslim in the 90s, and I know how it was in the 90s. What's and up? I have a benchmark to compare it with. There, it wasn't like that back in those days. So you watched it morph. Yes, I watched it morph, and I talk about this a lot on my channel. I, I and uh, this is some of the things that, that I mentioned, and I bring the uh, receipts as well, as 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 you know, right? Because I I never say anything without <laughs> actually backing it up. You know, that's <laughs> you know the difference, I mean? I, man. That's the that's, difference yeah, that's, uh, between mm -hmm. the clickbaiters and real actual, you know, students of knowledge and researchers. Then we're no. gonna bring the receipt, but they, you know, they they, they don't ever really want to see or hear the receipts. You know, people like the, yeah. especially the internet, man. They like mm. to hear what they want to hear and yeah. Google what they want to Google and live in their own little world and their own little land and their own little reality. So yeah, uh, yeah, the the receipt getting is <laughs> don't hold much <laughs> weight. Uh, sadly, yeah. <laughs> but it's there for those who need to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, our, our job, you know, if, if you look at the occupation of the MBF. Uh, Joe Moe's. No, I like him, Joe Moe. Another good mm -hmm. Hamdali brother. He's going to yeah. join this. This whole little series and this rap and this conversation as well. So me no and you, we actually kicking it off. Yeah. <laughs> And I, I've been I'm saving good. them brothers. They've been kind of beating me down like, hey, Ock, we need to we need do this, do this, do I'm like, okay, yeah, like. I don't want to make this effort one-sided. You know what I mean? Yeah, we yeah. got enough videos over there and then some mm -hmm. videos over here. We got enough of that. I'm yeah. trying to, you know, get the conversation rolling in the right direction mm -hmm. with both sides. We got mm -hmm. plenty of refutation videos and, mm -hmm. and treat retreatizes and stuff. We got plenty of that. And I ain't yeah. no scholar, so I'm not going to get into all the hair splitting and nitpicking with, with any individual. But yeah. just like you touched on, uh, African American, it, it, this is an issue, uh, yeah. especially here in the United States. You know, the African Americans are, uh, in my from from my experience, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I see them picking up the the methods of the set off, and, mm -hmm. and you know, cool. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't never ask nobody what it is that they follow when we in the masjid, shoulder to shoulder or whatever. I ain't bothering them. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to get it in. But mm -hmm. it gets it's, it's starting to get to the point. And from my experience, mm -hmm. you know, the brothers and this is why, you know, that's why I wanted to take up this effort. You know, you got some brothers, you know, the they, the the, the Salafi brothers are very, known to be very aggressive, mm -hmm. like over here. I don't know about over there, but <laughs> over here, like they will stop you in the mosque and be like, ah, you need to roll your sleeves, your, your pants legs up, you know, or, <laughs> yeah. you know, they go, you know, they, you know, they believe to touch the actual feet. Like, you know, I don't believe in that. So. You know, mm -hmm. I move my foot, then this guy moves his foot. Then, you know, now we like doing the splits and the so it's a problem. Mm -hmm. and then, you know, you got people that want to get married, and then, you know, you know, the, you know, most of the black Muslim sisters in America are from Philly, and 90 mm -hmm. some odd percent of Philly are Salafi. And, mm -hmm. you know, it, I got brothers coming to me, it was like, man, you know, what's up with the Salafis? They, they don't even, it ain't even that deep with them a lot. They don't even say Salafi. They mm. hear it, but they always ask me. You know, they want to get married. They always say, "What's up with the sisters from Philly?" But mm. because they, you know, they, you know, they check you. They be like, you know, what's your aqidah like? What's your talk? Yeah. Like? Mm. And if you say something that's contrary to what they've already learned, oh no, mm. brother, you a hisbi. No, no, brother, mm. you know, it, it's it's like that. 
Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, you know, we got to clear the air a little bit. And yeah. some of the inflammatory things that I post, I just want to get the conversation greased yeah. and oiled and get it to run. Because mm-hmm. for the most part, I done looked into it myself mm-hmm. already. Mm-hmm. I want everybody else to not just regurgitate what they hear. You know, mm-hmm. grab a book, do some research, you yeah. know, really go into these things before we start taking positions against one another. Mm-hmm. Which I guess that can serve as an introduction <laughs> to this video, <laughs> video series, hopefully. Yeah. But this is, uh, alhamdulillah, you know, I got a brother that has enough respect. Uh, mm-hmm. Some some brothers, you know, like, they be thinking I be being funny, but, you know, it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our judge. I'm not your judge. So what mm-hmm. I say shouldn't turn you red. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like it can it can make you annoyed and aggravated or whatever. But some things mm-hmm. that some brothers say, I'll be like, what in the world? Where did he get that from? But they always turn it into a, oh brother, you ignorant. You don't know what the sell-off is, and that's why you're mm-hmm. talking like that. You don't know what I know. Mm-hmm. I, I, just because I chose to take the position that I did doesn't mean that I don't know what mm-hmm. it is. And yeah. and it'll get disrespectful. So I definitely mm-hmm. appreciate you accepting the invite from amongst millions. I've been posting on my page for like five years to get yeah. a brother on here and just holler at me. Because yeah, I'm yeah. on I'm on this side of the fence. And you yeah. know, we got room in Islam. I'm gonna mm-hmm. holler at my folks because y'all, you know, the everybody's saying the Kalima Shahada. Mm-hmm. I've been taught to never take that from anybody. Mm-hmm. Never, to, you know, never withdraw that. Even if you see a, if somebody come to you and ask you something that's crazy, I've been taught from my scholars who they said they got it from their scholars that you say, hey, if a person or some people are doing X, Y, and Z, then they need to make Tauba and, you know, sit down with somebody and correct their Akida or whatever the issue is. Not say, hey, you, brother, you are out of Islam. You are yeah. your brother. You know, we yeah. got Hey, too much of that going on, man. Yeah. And that yeah. ain't good. That is, not, you know, and they and everybody got Quran Asuna, Quran Asuna, Quran Asuna in their mouth. Mm. That is not the Quran Asuna. Mm. We had the Sahaba, you know, that was a little rough and a little hard on each other, but then was mm. the big dogs, you know what I'm saying? Then was the mm. guys who they said something, you, you know, they come hard at them, and you, they know it ain't going to turn into nothing mm. because they know where their Iman stand stood at. We ain't mm-hmm. on that level. You know, we, we got to observe respect. Like the famous story of when the Prophet said, when you get to such and such destination, make awesome. And then a group mm-hmm. prayed before then, and a group prayed after. They didn't fight. They didn't argue, cuss each other, to say, you tough fear, you disobey Rasulullah. That, yeah. That's the sunnah. And that's what mm-hmm. we got to kind of bring out. So with all that being said, I got three more key issues that okay. I need some insight on. I, mm. I'm asking these questions not to be funny, not to contradict mm. you, not to quote unquote embarrass you. We can't because we all are slaves. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's our judge. None of these mm. people watching this is our judge. So if, if if you can get embarrassed by these kinds of things, that means you got some some problems with sincerity in your heart. And, you know, these kinds of conversations are not for you. Not talking about mm. you. I'm just saying you in general, people mm. in general. So, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's tough. It, it's the hot seat. It's, tough. Yeah. it's very <laughs> tough stuff. And at the end of the day, if, if, we can, if we can bring out some understanding on at least these three, I picked like three big things. We got some little smaller other things or, you know, fit point for fit point. Mm-hmm. I ain't no scholar. I don't get into that stuff. I follow the scholars. But mm-hmm. at least to get us to have an understanding because in the, from the Ahlul Madahi, from the peoples mm-hmm. of the schools, you know, it's four of us. It's four, it's four, it's four sets. <laughs> mm-hmm. and, and we are all right with the other ones. Like, mm-hmm. like it's a bunch of Shafi's like that have come to the masjid. There's a bunch of Hanafis that come to the masjid. Like if, mm-hmm. if the Shafi's do Rafa'u Yadain, you know, in, in the different motions and positions, the Hanafis don't say nothing. That's mm-hmm. just, that ain't what they own. When, mm-hmm. you know, it's a bunch of like in, uh, I'm in Cincinnati, and so uh, we got a big, uh, uh, we got a nice size uh, Western African community, and mm. they all Maliki. Mm. Some know it, some don't even know it. And mm. when they do Tukbib Tahrima, they put their hands to the side. That's how I pray. They mm. make struggle. Don't mm. nobody say nothing to them. 
Mm. They leave him alone. They, but I swear to you, a lot, just about, you know, either a conversation will arise after when we having tea and coffee. But man, why them brothers back there, man, I've been praying like the Shiites, man. Is they Shiites? You know, it, 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 it'll start. And it's <laughs> always the Salafi brothers. Mm -hmm. It's all, and mm. they like, oh brother, you you arrogant. You got your pants below your ankle. You know they. It's it's like it's mm. it's like hold up. Or if you say, mm. uh, I I heard Sheikh Hamza used to say, that, oh brother, he's a Sufi. Brother, don't be don't be cool. Mm. He's Sufi. Mm. I don't care if somebody was a Salafi, if they say they Sufi, if they mm. Maliki, if they Shafi. Everybody's prone to say something that somebody yeah. can like or might not be correct or whatever. But when it gets to the point where we set tripping in the masjid and mm. on Facebook. I, mm -hmm. I, when I first came home from prison, I, you know, I love Sheikh Holmes user. He's my favorite. Mm -hmm. I'm posting stuff. I got brothers sliding in my inbox from I don't know where. My brother, mm -hmm. he's a deviant. And if you listen to him, <laughs> you're a deviant. And I asked him, you know, I'm like, well, tell me what he deviating on. Oh, he yeah. worked for George Bush. <laughs> that's your question, God. That's, that's that man business. I ain't got nothing to yeah. do with that. When he mm -hmm. put down some fifth. Or when he putting down, you know, he whatever it is that he putting down on his stuff, man, it'd be good. Mm -hmm. and, and it's helpful, and we can incorporate it into our lives. Mm -hmm. We can have differences. That's my mm -hmm. point. So, yeah. you know, I want to, I haven't myself been able to legitimize some of the issues between the two groups. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping you or somebody who sees this can kind of do to our you know, work mm -hmm. this out for me. Okay, Bismillah, so, Bismillah, yeah. Wassalam, 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 Okay, so first of all, I just want to preface this by saying I'm not a scholar. I'm not uh, somebody of knowledge. I'm just a brother with a lot of experience. I've been in Dao for a very long time. Uh, I've been involved in Dao for many years. I've studied in Yemen for half a year. I I've lived in Saudi Arabia for <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, I lived I lived in Saudi Arabia for nine years, and I've sat with Ulama. So, but I'm not. Uh, uh, I don't consider myself a talib al -ilm. But out of yani, out of brotherhood, out of akhua, you know what I mean. This is why I'm I'm very happy for this initiative. Actually, Alhamdulillah. Because what you have to understand, and black people really need to understand this. Our history is not like any other history on anybody on the face of the earth. And if you are a, a black person in 2021, doesn't make a difference where you are. If you're a black person in Africa, a black person in the Caribbean, a black person in South America, or a black person in America or, or North America, doesn't make a difference. You are basically going to face certain uh, tactics from the enemy in order to cause a lot of division and turmoil in your communities. That's happened time and time and time and time again. So we've seen what happened, for example, with Marcus Garvey and the FBI, how they infiltrated him and his movement, right? We've seen what happened with, with the FBI and the Nation of Islam. And we've seen what happened with the FBI and, and Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and how they just system systemically and systematically assassinate and take out black leaders in the 90s when Sadafia was spreading it was growing like wild fire okay it was spreading very quickly and it was legit changing the lives of people and what you see today didn't happen in the 90s and most people don't know that because what they're witnessing is the aftermath of infiltration Mm. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. So back in those days, when somebody came, became so they changed their lives, they changed their manners, they had the best manners, right? They had the best approach with people. Uh, they, they had concern about the Muslims. This is how we learned uh, Salafia. You understand? What you're seeing today is essentially the how do i want to put this infiltration this, this is this is the aftermath of a certain group of people from britain and saudi arabia who have 
basically usurped the Dawa by force during the to the early 2000 period. And this group is called Salafi Publications. You understand? So this particular group, how they were able to do this is because back in those days, uh, the internet was fairly new and there were no Salafi websites. So the first Salafi website was a Salafi website called SalafiPublications.com or Spubs.com, all right? Now it's called Spubs.com. And the other Salafi web was, website was called Troy.org, which is out of Toronto. That's where I came from. I was involved personally, and I was a high-ranking member of Troy.org. And this is how I know all this stuff. Mm. Because I was there in the beginning, and I was there to watch the changes of the Dawa. So in those days, we were just about Dawa. We were just about calling people to Islam, calling people to the Sunnah. You know what I mean? This is this was the this is what we were doing. We're, we were inviting people to our homes. We were feeding poor people. We were, uh, you know, getting brothers who were hooked on drugs cleaned up and, and whatnot. This is what we were doing. We were cleaning up the communities, like, like, like legit, like for real, for real. You understand? Then uh, this British man named Abu Khadija came. I can't remember what year. It's like '98 or something like that to Detroit, and we had there was a big Salafi conference and. These Salafi publications guys were invited there, and then they did their their website around this time. I want to say a little bit either before or after, and after that, that's when they started their tactics. You understand? From that time, you feel me? So their whole goal was to kick off anybody who was not with them off the menhaj, off the methodology, off the sunnah so that they can have a monopoly of the, uh, whatchamacallit, the narrative of Salafia. And the website was key for that because the website was a prop propagandist tool. Right, right. It's not, it was, it was nothing like today. Hmm. You understand? Where you have so many websites and all this YouTube and, you know, and a lot of, inf no, the only information was out of these, these websites here. Now, Troy.org, or the way it started was just, all it was was just translating uh, lectures of the ulama, right? So they would have translated lectures of the ulama and they would put them on the website. And this was, subhanAllah, this was so incredibly influential on the people. You understand? It helped so many, I can't even tell you how many people this helped. Just this one action, you know? May Allah reward the brothers you know, who, who translated and, and put in hard work and translating those works. It was just phenomenal. There was a massive library, an audio library of all these different scholars on all kinds of different topics. You feel me? And then around, I want to say early 2000s, uh, a fitna that was happening in Saudi Arabia was intentionally imported to the West. And this fitna was involving a sheikh called Sheikh Rabi bin Hadi al -Madkhali. You, you might've heard him as the Madakhila, right? And another man called um, Abul Hassan al Ma'rabi. And the reason, I don't wanna get into too many details about this fitna, but the reason why this fitna kicked off was basically that Abul Hassan al Ma'rabi wrote this two volume book pointing out the mistakes of Sheikh Rabi. And this is how Salafi Publications was able to uh, control the people from this fitna. How did they do it? They would test the people with Sheikh Rabi and Sheikh um, Abul Hassan and Matt Rabi. And if anybody did not agree with their opinions, they would say that you are on the menhaj of Abul Hassan and Matt Rabi. And they would run back to Sheikh Rabi and say that this person's on the manager's Abul Hassan Matarbi, this person's on it, he's, he's following Abul Hassan Matarbi. This is what they did, you know? And on top of that, anybody who wants to confirm this just, can just go to celebipublications.com and type in Abul Hassan Matarbi and they'll see <laughs> like long, long, long refutations and the people who they they threw off saying that this person's on the manager of Al Matarbi. But they were both, but uh, uh, Abu Hassan was Salafi as well? Yeah, he's Salafi, yeah. 
But Sheikh Rabi kicked him off the men hedge, right? And how and he did it in a way that no, I've never seen a scholar do this before, and I've never just seen a scholar do this afterwards. Now, mind you, Sheikh Rabi, he's a scholar, and Abul Hassan Madhavi is a scholar. You understand? But he did this in a way that I've never seen before. What he did is he got 30 people, right, to sign off on this refutation on, like, with the signature, with the actual signature, you understand? Saying, yes, this is a correct, this is a correct thing. You understand? So what, what I say all this to let Black people know that, <laughs> let's say, for example, we never heard of Sheikh Rabia, we never heard of um, Abul Hassan Ahmad Rabia, and we never heard of Salafi publications, right? We never heard of these three groups. Would you be experiencing what you're experiencing now with Salafis? You mean like all of the contention? Yes. I don't know. Look, this is the first the, time I've, I've ever The answer this, is so. abs absolutely not. Absolutely not, right? Mm. You would not be experiencing that. Mm. Why is that? Because that whole fitna was imported, which is what I said at the beginning. Every issue in the Black community, if you just take a look at it, the vast majority of our is issues in the Black community are not organic. It's always some other issues. people group. Other people's issues. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's always true. some other people group bringing something in our community and causing incredible damage. Look at the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Iran-Contra, how that brought crack cocaine into the Black communities. Yeah. Was that uh, us doing it? Was it us doing it? Or was it the CIA doing it? Absolutely not. You it know, was the CIA. look at mass incarceration. Look at mass incarceration when Bill Clinton, you know, uh, made the three strikes bill, you know, you understand? And uh, it caused a epidemic of police uh, planting five grams of crack on black people in order to get them arrested so they can raise their arrest rates so they can get promotions. Was that an organic problem or was that an imported problem? Yeah, that was definitely important. And we were I'm, not left I'm from the hood. I ain't never we were not I this all time. I ain't never seen a brother with a boat. Never. Not to this yeah. day. Yeah. I ain't never seen exactly. a brother with so a how, boat. So how how are we getting the guns and the drugs and all this kind of stuff in the black community? It, yeah, right. It's it's right. not coming from us. Right. It is not coming from us. So there comes right. a point in time when black people have to be intelligent and uh accountable because it's not the first second third fourth, like how many times we go through this even the black church was not set up by black people the right. black church was set up by white people to control black people and this thing that is happening so, with the muslims me, in the west stop you real quick go ahead so are you saying like uh the infiltration was with uh so are you saying like the majority of people black folks in uh the western hemisphere were following the salafi minhaj and they were trying to divide that or la shek la shek la shek when you find black people who are destined for prison changing their lives and then started running their businesses becoming family people becoming united like united like you do anything for your brother literally anything you understand they, we were like that i can't count the amount of times i had dinners so, at my so house that's what i'm saying like was there yeah. like was there like peace between the ahl of madahib and the yes. ahl of salafia and yes the, yes the and as a matter of fact in those days if you were Salafi, it was like a badge of honor. And the people saw this as an honorable thing, even if they weren't Salafi. That's how it was. Hmm. Well, Laladim, no cap, as the as you say, no cap. Yeah, that, yeah, that, was, yeah. that was a fact. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that, let's go from let's go from there. Yeah. That's a good point. Um, mm. I, I've never heard that. And uh mm. you lived through it, so you know, I I, I definitely you know, mm -hmm. I definitely take your word for it because you lived through it. I was, 
Mm-hmm. I was nowhere near a Salafi, a Muslim, a Maliki, a Quran, nothing back in the nineties. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, I was back on my Iran Contra. But, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, so with that being said, yeah, um, this brought out this that division. Yeah, brought out it brought it, it made issues arise. Yeah. Now I I, I imagine. And this is very arrogant of me. I imagine that I could spark the conversation that would make the, the you know, for these issues to surface, and we get what I'm what 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 I'm willing to hear. And I've been told by people bigger than me, like mm-hmm. Abdul Kabir, leave it alone. They, it ain't gonna go nowhere. But it, it's kind of hard for me to accept that because. There's, there's a, there's, I don't know the percentage, but there's a very high percentage of African American. You know what I'm trying to do. You know what I'm on. Like you said, mm-hmm. the unity. Yeah. And I don't believe we can unify as black people first and foremost until we get past this and that. So I believe if we, if I hear some legitimate answers to these concerns, we can quote unquote bring y'all in as the fifth moth hop. Yes or no? To <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Sheikh. Go ahead. I mean Sheikh. that's like like that's that's the way I'm trying to make peace at it. And if not, I would believe that that so this is how I see it. <laughs> the Alum, everybody know the Alum of they, that's like been here. It's been here since the time of the Salaf. Mm. So what seems new is the whole Salafi Minhaj movement mm-hmm. that like I, I myself have not seen that from what we saw from you know what from our point of view now mm-hmm. what we saw come with Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab oh, we Allah. haven't seen it before then mm-hmm. from what I've seen and what and when I take this to my superiors this is they concur. They like, yeah, yeah, we don't, that ain't, that was never around. That never happened. That never existed. We don't know what dude was talking about. That's mm-hmm. how we, that's how we talking. Mm-hmm. We don't ever get the chance to sit down and have a conversation and exchange ideas. It just, we, we're taught that on our side of the fence. How is, how is that? Um, how do y'all look at that? Because, the Alam we say that the whole Salafi Minhaj thing came from Abdullah ibn Abu, uh, Muhammad ibn Abdul Waha and mm-hmm. his whole little, you know, you know his whole little thing. Because mm-hmm. we got some issues where that do, that do divide us. You know, they mm-hmm. are legitimate issues. Mm-hmm. But, I, you know, for centuries there's been fighting about the issues. I want to bring some recollection and some understanding about the issues and either we're wrong and we need to pull y'all in as the fifth month because like i said it can't be the ahlam of coming over to the salafi minhaj it can't be that because the ahlam of was already here mm-hmm. so it would have to either be we pull y'all in as the fifth month or something ain't right and like I said in the group, y'all need to go ahead and get back to, you know, your roots of being Hanbali <laughs> adherents. That's how mm-hmm. I see it. Speak on that. Okay. Well, over here, uh, the thing is, is that the to say that the, that the Imam Muhammad ibn Dawah Allah is the founder of uh Hold on, I, i'm gonna get to y'all's comments too we're gonna have a section when we deal with the comments so i don't want y'all to think we're ignoring y'all all right <laughs> go ahead sorry yeah is to say that it started with uh imam muhammad Duwahab is a mistake actually you know all of the salaf we're talking about the salaf right all of them <laughs> you know what i mean like I, this is a mistake in in understanding terminology right in, in islam there's nothing wrong with with terminology we use it all the time to explain Absolutely. things it, right. it was so, used in the Quran. Yeah. When exactly. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, talked about the uh 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 the muhajirun and yeah. who else? And the Ansar. And the Ansar. Yeah. They, they got two different ranks. 
Yeah. Allah subhanahu mm -hmm. wa ta'ala himself, you know, mm -hmm. recognized that. So, yeah, I yeah. concur. Yes. So, now, what's happening is the experiences of people with, with the Salafi, with people who are calling themselves Salafi, right, is causing them to think a certain way about Salafis. You understand? Like your experiences, with all that you explain, it's all real. Everything that you experienced actually happened. I know it happened because I was witnessing the changes in the behaviors of the Salafis. And Allah forgive me, I was I was involved in that as well. I changed my behavior. I, I fell for the okie doke. You know what I mean? Leave so, brother's pants alone. I... <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> so what we have here is like a misunderstanding in terminology. You understand? So Salafia is a menhaj. A menhaj in Arabic, it means uh, a methodology. Uh, it's a way of approaching the religion. Like, how do you how do you understand the religion? You know, and all of the Salaf used to talk about following the Salaf. All of them, right? I agree. I agree. <laughs> you understand? So this is this is what we're 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 doing. We're saying to follow the Salaf, right? Now, as for calling yourself Salafi, it didn't start with Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab, rahimahullah. Even it started. We know it started before Ibn Taymiyyah. For him a lot, right? So, but Ibn Taymiyyah, what he said is that there is no blame on the one who uh, attaches himself to the madhab of the salaf and and attaches it with the yawa with nisba, meaning to say I am salafi, right? He said it explicitly. And he said, rather, it is wajib to accept that from him because the madhab of the salaf can be nothing but the truth. You understand? The word salaf, it means somebody who came before. So when we talk, when we say salaf, we, we're talking about the salaf of salih, right? Because the Prophet ﷺ, he said, Right? He said, the best of mankind is my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. So we, we call these three generations the Salaf al -Saleh. You understand? So when Sheikh Al-Bani was, was explaining this, he was saying, that you have to differentiate yourself from the Ahlul Bid'ah, right? The people who are who are upon Bid'ah. And how you do that, you just say you're Salafi. Like you, you know, when somebody's asking you, for example, if I ask you, okay, like what's your what, like what are you? And then you say, I'm Muslim, right? Is saying I'm Muslim enough? Is just saying I'm Muslim, right? Is that enough? And the answer is no, it's not enough. How can it be enough? Muslim like who? Muslim like Nation of Islam, Muslim like the Qadianis, Muslim, Muslim like Kaif, right? And then, then you say, for example, Methalin, okay, I am Muslim, but I am Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, right? Like we were having this conversation, right? Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, like who? Like the Naqshbandiya, like the Qadariya, like, like who? You know what I mean? No, no, I mean, I've, I'm following the Quran and the Sunnah with the understanding of the Sahaba and the Tabi'een and the Tabi Tabi. So instead of giving somebody a lecture, why don't you just say I'm Salafi and Khalaq, right? Okay. So with that being said, <laughs> yeah. which goes into that first question. Yeah. Uh, why do the Salafiyah differentiate mm -hmm. themselves with the term Salafiyya? Mm -hmm. That's a good explanation. Mm -hmm. The issue with that statement. And I'm, mm -hmm. I'm familiar with it. I just, I can't find it in any book. I can't find mm -hmm. it on any YouTube video from any of the namely uh, 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 Salafi scholars. Um, when I ask those questions, I just get attacked by the Salafi brothers. Like, oh, you're a deviant. You're a Sufi. That's all they ever say. That's yeah. why sometimes I'll start to post like, okay, I'm a deviant. Now to be that, and I'm a Sufi. Okay, mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. let's get to the meat on the bone. Mm -hmm. How so? So, I don't want to get into Nutchbandi and you know all of that. That's mm. a whole different video. Mm. Um, you know we, you know we 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 talking about uh, Hanafi, Maliki, Shafi'i, 
Hanbali. That's like agreed upon. Nobody, mm -hmm. the Nakshbandi and all that stuff, that it went, it, we don't even get started. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't even put them in the same sense. We, you know, mm -hmm. this, this, these things are approved. So my thing is what, what were they teaching uh, the Salafi community as to uh, uh, when you say we, you know, follow the 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 blessed Quran, the blessed generations, mm -hmm. but Ibn Taymiyyah was not from the blessed generations. Imam Malik was. Imam Abu Hanifa was. Imam Shafi'i was. Well, Imam, uh, Ahmad Ibn was. So why does why do the Salafi the Salafiya put up uh, Taqiyya al Din and mm -hmm kind of just like put to the side the actual salaf mm -hmm. again this, this, Imam, this one, like they were the actual salaf yeah this this right here is it's like um what we call a sur su su right it's like a misunderstanding with terminology you understand that's a, it's a misunderstanding with the terminology mm -hmm. because what we're saying we're not calling to the following of individuals Let's say, for example, like me and you, we're brothers in Islam. Khalas, right? You are Ashari, I'm assuming, right? You're Ashari, right? Absolutely. Okay, so you're Ashari. I'm Salafi, okay? My, my Akida is Salafi. Your Akida is Ashari. You understand? The Salafi approach is that we are accepting the truth wherever it comes from. Mm. That's the Salafi approach. If 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 it, if it is if it comes from an ashari, if it's true, if it's an authentic hadith, authentic narration, we're looking at the actual, you know, like the the content, like the content, like the context of the content. You know what I mean? This is what we're looking at. We're not looking at necessarily uh, who's bringing it. To, we're we're only about the truth, right? What the people that that you see now, who are calling themselves Salafi and you know your your Muspil and and whatnot. So this new this generation who calls themselves Salafi, they themselves don't understand Salafia. You understand? They don't understand that you can't just call yourself Salafi and that makes you Salafi. You understand? Explain. Just because I say I am Salafi, it doesn't mean that I am Salafi. But now they have turned the, the manhaj into a firqa. They turned the methodology into a group. You understand? And it's not a group. You know, you say, you say for example, we, back in the day, we say, I'm Salafi, inshallah. You know what I mean? We hope to be Salafi. We hope to be upon the Quran and the Sunnah with the understanding of the, of the Sahaba and whatnot, and the Prophet says, we hope to be on that understanding. You understand? These guys, they say it as like um, like a badge of honor, almost. Like, yeah. I'm not you. Yeah, that's true. You understand? That's true. And that's not how a Salafi is supposed to be used. It's not supposed to be used like that. It's supposed to be used to distinguish your methodology in approaching the religion, but not to make a group. So, so how come... Uh, uh... Uh, Sheikh Albani didn't just pick one of the actual salaf and say X, Y, and Z. This is how it is. What like, do you mean? Why did he leave it wide open? Because the problem is, is when you say I follow the Quran and Sunnah according to the way of the salaf, mm -hmm. that is the most broad and general statement ever. You mm -hmm. can't, like, I don't understand because I'm a madhabi. I don't mm -hmm. understand how you can progress in your dean if you just put that like your practice in in the whole array of the salaf. Because you know there were tens of thousands of salaf. Mm -hmm. So like so what on that's why like in the comments earlier when you said it's a minhaj, not fiqh. Yeah. I said, well, how can you have a minhaj without fiqh for the madhabi people? The mm -hmm. minhaj is fiqh. Mm -hmm. so when you go through, you know, when you're learning things, like when I first took my Kalima Shahada, like they gave me fiqh. This is how you do this. This is how you do that. You say this. You don't say that. You boom, 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 boom. It's, that's the methodology. That's, this mm -hmm. is your approach and your practice of Islam. The mm -hmm. problem that we're having is, 
if uh, if we got a lot of people saying that to us, like we follow we follow the Quran as soon according to the way of the Sahaba. They, they, they're just they're just talking at you. Like they heard about well, Salafi. They heard so about Salafi. Break, so break it down for me. Like yeah. So, what, like, yeah, th those like brothers heard about the issues, like when you got to yeah. do something, because, you know, Islam yeah. is about action. When you yeah. got to do a partic particular what you gotta thing, understand is the, who do y'all take from? The, what you got to understand is those brothers, they heard about Islam yesterday, right? <laughs> they became Salafi this morning, and now they're telling you what to do this evening. You understand? Yeah, give a fuck and, about the day after that. Yeah, and they're giving fact what a day after that. So they, they're just, it's oh, it's a, a type of overzealousness, but they're being steered in a certain direction by nefarious groups. And they don't know that. They don't know that. You understand? So I agree. And as and, and as I said, the Salafi is a menhaj, right? So what, there's there's the a difference. The methodology. There's, 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 a, there's a difference between that. menhaj, right, and a medhab. There's a, it's, it's not the same thing. Explain you, to me the difference. You feel me? I don't understand it. Because menhaj is your approach in how to, uh, like, practice the religion. Your, med, your medhab is a school of thought. I'll give you an example. Like, the, for example, you know, ben, the, the medhab is the, the approach. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you an example. The best book, book I've ever read on Salat is actually written by Sheikh Albani, rahimahullah, right? It's, yeah, it's an amazing, the best by far. You know what I mean? It's totally amazing. Why you say that? Because, you know, like, the people of the mother house, like, not being funny, they laugh at it. Like, it's like, it it's is, like so non-scholarly. We're, we're, like not, we're, not getting, we're not getting into the personality of it, of it, you see? Because uh -huh. this personality stuff, right, this is what causes, you, when you, like, I want you guys to understand something. When you find people talking about people a lot, trying to steer you in a certain direction, that's when they're trying to play you. You understand? If, if they're not quoting a lot of ayat of Quran and hadith, and, you know what I mean? Like these type of things, but they but they telling you about people, then they're trying to make your religion about people. Islam just got here in the West. You feel me? Okay, and the so reason why example of that because I really want to know the, the, re the reason I, why, I ain't been funny. I'm just saying, like the reason like, why I from said our that, side of the game, we like we literally laugh at that book. Yeah, because the reason you know, why, big, imagine now we are taken from Mali, Chef A. So you know, Ali is like the, the, the reason not even in the same world of them. The reason why why I said that is because the Sheikh or Himallah, he gave the uh what you call it the position whatever and he gives the hadith and he gives the position he gives the hadith i've never seen that before in any fic book i've never seen that before and i've read a lot of um slot fit books you understand you never read the so, so so he's using it's the first time i'm i'm reading this book and he's describing it with hadith right so that's why i said that you understand? Despite what what's your opinions of our Sheikh Albani, Rahimullah, you have to understand why somebody would steer you this way and steer you that way. You understand? So the reason why, and this is this is the point. The point is that that's a thick book, right? But he didn't use the thick. Uh, of the madhahib. Okay, that's not true. You understand? That's not true. That's not he true. Used, he used the fiqh of, of what you call it, the salaf and kalas. That was it. And he mm -hmm. outlines in the back of the book, if I have it here, no, it's upstairs. Okay, I so can, I, can, I can read Let directly. Let me say this about that. This mm -hmm. is where we have a problem. And you say it's about truth. Mm -hmm. So, inshallah ta'ala, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to share this with you. Mm -hmm. And I have found that this is something that a lot of sellers. Okay, bro, before, before you start, I right. don't want to go all over the place. Right? Right. The only reason why I mentioned this is, to sh is as an example, right, to show you that his methodology, right, in writing the thick book was using the methodology of the salaf. You understand? But it's not... A menhaj book. It's a thick book. That's it. That's my point. 
right? What, what your feelings about Sheikh Albani, Rahimullah, is, is some side issue. We don't need to get in, in, into that. You understand? Yeah. Okay. You understand? So I now, know. now. Let, uh, I, let me stop you there. Cause the, okay. And then I, I remember your point that you was going to continue with. Okay. Uh, this is the contention. Mm -hmm. um, like, we laugh at that for what you just said. Mm -hmm. Because he did not do it in a fashion according to the way of the salaf. You have to remember that a hadith comes from the chains. Mm -hmm. You have to sit with the muhaddith and take from the muhaddith. al Bani never did that. He, Are you took sure about from, that. he took from the hadith books that already existed. And those individuals. Where, 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 hold on, where did, hold on, hear me out. Who is, who is Sheikh Albani, Rahimallah? Who's his his first teacher? I don't know. I, I, as far okay, as far hold research, on. Hold you up, don't, hold you don't know. Thought. Okay, hold that thought. Hold, hold that thought. Let me. Okay. Let me See this. This is why I said. This is why I said. Leave, leave, the leave the personality stuff alone. No, no, no. I don't. I'm not, I don't. I, I won't it, say his name. I'll just yeah. say the name of the yeah. book. I just say the name of the book because because what you're saying is actually it's 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 incorrect. It's incorrect. And that's why I said if when people start talking about other people, right? And they're trying okay. to say they're trying I'll to get that. Yeah. Answer this for me. Don't mm -hmm. you have that book handy? I got it yeah, in I this do. room. I can go grab it. You got it handy? Yeah, I do. Okay. Give me an example. Go open up the book, find one of his fix anywhere in the book, and then look at the reference and, and see what the re and tell us what the reference is. Like where he got the fit position. What do you mean where you got the, like open like he, the book up randomly oh. and where it says how to make wudu it's a wudu section in there right yeah yeah so go in the wudu section and when he said do x i, y, I just z. told you he he took the hadith you understand he put he put the chapter he took the hadith and he described it with the hadith you understand right. so this is the problem you said why is that he, did according, he, he didn't do it according to one of the Methods or schools, or he did it according why is, why is, to, okay. to the hadith. Now, now, okay, now this is a different thing. Okay, no, you no, it's the, it's the same. I'm, this is hold on. Listen, one thing to you. This is why we're saying it's incorrect. Okay, let me, let me hold bring on. That leave leave Albani for a minute. Leave Albani for a let second. Me, let me bring that point in. Okay, no, hold on, hold on. Just leave, leave leave Albani for a second, right? What you're telling me, right, is that it is wajib to um. Follow fiqh, correct? It's it's not wajib. It's fard. It's fard. You're saying you're saying it's fard. Okay, khalas. Fard does what exactly? Like it's it's mandatory. No, you I mean like what? You have what? no Islam without it. Okay, because I I I don't say it's fard. Okay, but why not? Allah subhanahu wa taala said, "Took me new billahi wa rasulihi wa tujahi doon the visa." Okay, jazakallah khair. Wa akimu salah wa akimu wa wa atu zaka. How are you going to akimu salah? Jazakallah okay. Okay, that's listen. Not in the, that's not in the Quran. Listen, listen. How you gonna I, add I don't. To I don't say. I don't say it's far. You you say following a madhhab is far, right? No, I mean no, 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 no. All right, hold on. Let's slow down. Let's slow down. Let's slow down. Okay. We we get there. Mm. I want to speak on what you said. I want to stay focused. Mm. We have a problem with Al Abani. Mm. Our, some of our brothers and sisters, the Salafi brothers and sisters, they. Adulate Al Albani. Mm. The vast majority, like I don't know any scholar that's a part of the chain linked back to the Prophet yes. Islam, that accepts Al Albani. Mm -hmm. I don't know any. Jazakallah khair, brother. So, so, so I said Jazak that to say this: we okay. got we got an issue. So yeah. so. Jazak Jazakallah khair. Hold up, my, hold my, up. my point. Hold listen, up. Let me bring this point. Please, in. Hold please, on. Let me bring this point. Let me bring this point. Please, please. My point I, wasn't about Albani, and I said before I, I, I don't forget before Albani. that we we're not going to get into the personalities of it, okay? Right? Yeah. Because if we do that, because then I can Slow do this, thing, and it's Slow not going to go anything. Let's let, let's let me make, go, let me make a, let's let get me, to the meat comment, of the issue. Let me let's get to the meat of the said. issue. Let me comment. The meat of the meat of the issue is okay. Go ahead. You ain't giving me a chance to talk. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I want. I gotta get this out because this okay, is what ahead. the meat on the bone is. Okay. Like, like, I want you to hear what I'm about to say, and I want you to address it. I'm gonna give you a chance to talk. Okay, I want go you ahead. To address it, I'm telling you, like, I'm bringing up the problems, mm -hmm. and and we have to look at it and say, right, like, if I'm wrong, you gotta hear what I'm saying first before mm -hmm. you can tell me I'm wrong. We got it wrong. Then I can go back to my folks and be like, man, 
we was wrong the whole time. It's like this. Now we friends. But mm. if, if I don't get it out, you can't you can't correct me if I don't get it out. Mm. So this the problem. The 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 the, the so the fifth book from him or whoever else, mm. all of all of them. Mm. I, I'm uh, uh, Ben Bass, a uh, 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 um, um, uh, uh, I like Banny, all, all the big ones, all of them. Mm. They all kind of do the same thing. So mm-hmm. we don't have to just say Albany. It's kind of all like the same. Mm-hmm. We have you we you got Fik. Then you got the Hadith. So you said he he grabbed the Hadith and then he brought the Fik. Mm-hmm. He didn't grab the Hadith. Mm-hmm. He opened up the Hadith books that already existed from mm-hmm. the Hadith scholars mm-hmm. and mixed it up and said, do wudu like this, do salah like this. Mm-hmm. So he outranked people who outrank him. Mm-hmm. Which is wrong. You can't do that. Mm-hmm. He took from the all. He took from all of the six collections and mm-hmm. a lot from the two, from the Sahihain. All of them follow the Madhab. Mm-hmm. All of them were Hanbali and Shafi'i scholars. Mm-hmm. Save uh, uh, Imam Malik, Imam Abu Hanifa. He just got the uh, uh, al Akbar. And so mm-hmm. it's kind of a mix of Hadith and Fiqh. It's really like what you saying. I don't know if you ever read that before, but. Uh, Al Fikr Akbar, that's like, it's, it ain't nothing like that really. But as far as hadith collections, mm-hmm. you got the Muwatta Imam Malik, of course, that's a Maliki fiqh slash hadith book. Mm-hmm. And then all of the rest of them, 90, the, the rest of the 90, 99% of the rest of them are Shafi A mm-hmm. scholars, and those hadiths are put together according to that minhaj. Yeah. And then you got Imam Ahmad. So mm-hmm. that when I when I said when I made the post in the group, I said, "Can y'all bring me a Salafi fit book?" I don't mean a person who says that they are Salafi and then they take the Hanbali fit books or the Shafi'i fit books or the Maliki fit books and say, "Okay, this is the Salafi manhaj." It's not. It's the Hanbali manhaj. It's the Shafi'i manhaj. It's the Maliki manhaj. That's my point. And mm-hmm. why I'm saying, why are the Salafia, if they are part of the actual Salaf, and they are following the actual Salaf, that was the four Imams. They mm-hmm. lived in that time period. Takuyu mm-hmm. Din did not live in that time period. Ibn Josia did not live in that time period. Uh, ben Baz, al go on down the list. Sheikh Rabia, none of them lived in that time period. So the problem is, why are they changing the... The, the terminology and when somebody says I'm um, Maliki or I'm um, like so some I'm Maliki mm-hmm. when I say I'm Maliki I'm not saying I adulate in my Malik mm-hmm. what we're saying is Malik took from Nafir Nafir took from Abdullah ibn Umar that Abdul Kabir Hayatullah my brother honestly we could have avoided all of that <laughs> right <laughs> Because I'm just going to say the same thing anyways, right? And again, you're getting into the personality of Sheikh Al-Bani, rahimullah, and that's not the problem. The problem is not whether or not you like Sheikh Al-Bani, rahimullah, whether or not uh, he's using humbly fiqh, or that's not the issue. The issue is, is you uh, believe in taqlid, correct? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay, halas. That's the issue. Okay, why? So now, why is that so, issue? So now, that's the meat, hey, right? Hold on, hold on. Because we otherwise we'll be going to be quick. talking about real wait, quick. Wait, wait, wait. Alan Bani gave takfa, you takfa, tuck leave. Takfa, takfa, takfa. Right? No, is that true? Is that takfa, yes? Takfa, no? takfa, please. Are you not please, making tuck leave? Please, Alan let, Bani? Me, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> because we could have avoided all of that. What lie we could have. Right, Uksumbala, we could have avoided all of that, right? So I don't think we could. The, have. the issue, the issue is Tukli. The issue is, is it wajib to follow a medpeb or so not? Move it to a different. This is a different issue. The conversation. No, this is, is the same thing. issue because okay. your your okay. problem with with Albani, Rahimullah, if you break it down to the bare essentials, is that why didn't he make Tukli of a medpeb when he made a Salat book? Correct. No, he did. That's what I'm telling you. Even he's if telling, he did, he's telling y'all, he, even he, even if he did, let's say let's say I he, agree he with did. you. He did. 
Let's say took, I agree. He took the hadith. He took a hadith that was yeah. graded by Tirmidhi and yeah. used it. That's Tukli. He didn't okay. get the actual okay. hadith. Come on. Come on. That's Tukli. Let's, let's, let's say I agree with you, right, that for argument's sake, that Sheikh Albani, rahimullah, made Tukli of a madhab, right? You're, tell, you're saying now that he took the hadith and he put it in his book but he didn't follow a madhab. So either way, it goes right back to Taqlid. You understand? No, I'm, no I'm You said saying. that. You said that. Rewind it. <laughs> no, you confused you, about what I said. You said. And you this went into the wall. Let, let me be clear about, let me be clear about okay, what I'm okay. saying. Okay. The whole Taqlid argument is like propaganda. I believe it's that type of propaganda, which you said in the beginning, but it's what? the reverse. They're telling... They were telling the Salafia to not make Tukli to the to the four month house because they had all the power and the influence. Come over here and follow is this us. What Sheikh Albani were him but, that's, but that's don't talk. Is, it, is, it, is this saying, is this what Sheikh Albani were him said? No, I said this is what I believe. I said that already. Okay, okay, okay. I, so I'm saying I'm so I'm look I'm I'm playing out to what from, happened from the statements when, when from the statements. Uh, the only person, uh, the only person who does not make taklid is a mm -hmm. mustahid, mutlaq. Mm -hmm. That's the only person that okay. does everything and everybody from, else does. From from the statement here, from which alim and their lectures did you get this idea from? From, from <laughs> to bring the power the, to bring the power from the mukallidun to the non mukallidun. I Where told you, you already. From? That's my belief. That's okay, my hold on. assessment. Okay, hold on. So at the what I'm what I the reason why I'm asking you, my brother, my dear brother, is because we want this uh conversation to remain as objective as possible. Absolutely. Right? So I can't deal with you know what I mean, like like uh some something that's purely subjective. You feel me? <laughs> I, I can't how am I what am I supposed to do with that? Like, what am I supposed all to right, do? Listen, listen, so I, want you to I want you to deal with this. I want you to deal with this. Yeah. The definition of taqlid is, in Islam, this okay. is the definition of taqlid. If mm -hmm. you are not a mustahid mutlaq, mm -hmm. you must make taqlid. All of the, it, all, that's unanimous and all of, that's all of the okay, scholars have so said now, it. Okay, so, it's so, now, so, now you're, so now you're saying it is wajib to make taqlid of a madhab, correct? Yes. Of a madhab that if, is different. If, that if is, you are not a mustahid, much, okay. If you are not mustahid, okay. That is different from telling a layman from making taqlid of an alim. That is not the same thing. What do you mean? What, what do you mean? It is not the same thing. I don't, I don't you understand? understand? I don't because that. Allah says, Allah says in the Quran. There are there are two parts to this. Right? The first is the fes alu ahlul dhikri to ask the people of knowledge. Who are the ones asking? Who are the people that are asking? That's a general statement. We're no, taught that, that I'm asking you. To everybody. I'm asking you. I'm asking everybody. Every everybody's asking? That's what we're taught. What does Allah say in, in the Quran? Who are the people that are asking? Who are they? The layman. That's the same ayah. It's in there in the ayah. The people who don't know. The people who don't know. So when... That's when the same thing. When... Please, please. When... Uh, what you call it? When the tabi'i... Tabi'in were asking the Sahaba questions because they didn't know... And according to you, not me, okay? According to you, it is wajib for uh, Ami, non mujtahid right? To take a madhab and to follow a madhab. That's your statement. So when the tabi'i, the tabi'i were asking the Sahaba questions about things they didn't know, which madhab were the Sahaba following to fight to fight Very them. good question. And I'm glad okay. you brought that up because I deal with this. So I've been dealing with this for so long, and I've been mm. waiting for one person, for one person to tell me something different than I've always heard all of these years. Go ahead. You know what they were all following? What? The same mother. This is why mm -hmm. I and always act. 
Just, I'm going to answer, answer the question. This is what, so the Madhab of Imam Malik is the mm -hmm. Madhab of, uh, uh, of Omar. Mm -hmm. Remember, I told y'all, I've mm -hmm. been saying, I don't know if you've seen the post or not. Mm -hmm. Knowledge starts with the Isnad. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, a Muslim said that. Mm -hmm. Unless anybody can say anything, mm -hmm. you have to have an Isnad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The people of the, the four schools, no, I'm notice. Answering the question. I'm answering the question. Okay. I'm answering okay. the question. The people of the four schools, we mm -hmm. have an Isnad. Mm -hmm. We have a chain link. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the so what the Prophet Muhammad was doing, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, was the same mm -hmm. thing that Imam Malik was doing. Mm -hmm. And I think he has a better say-so than mm -hmm. al Bani because mm -hmm. there was only two people between. Uh, so um, this is how we look at it. Imam Malik saw somebody who saw somebody who saw the Prophet. Matter of fact, they all saw the Prophet. Mm -hmm. Nafi had seen the Prophet. Uh, Abdullah ibn Omar definitely seen the prophet and that's mm -hmm. a no-brainer mm -hmm. so when Imam Malik said one thing or another that was not they even call Imam Malik's man that's slang to say hey I'm a Maliki and if mm -hmm. you've been dealing with fit for a little bit we should know that they, we, they call us the Mazhab Ahlul Medina mm -hmm. Malik didn't take from you know a thousand uh, a, a, a thousand years difference of of scholars like Alabani claims he took from Tebi, the Tebi Al, Al he claimed claim that he took I, I mean if he's a scholar he had to take from somebody right okay 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 so that's what I'm saying there's thousands of people between Alabani and the prophet mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna take the guy that had only 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 two people I noticed the question was I so, asked you so which, that's the which, to the question. which medhab it, that, was, that, that they were they was it was all the same so you're, you, you're telling me listen, on your live listen, and I want to respect you I want to respect you I'm, listen hold on hold on I'm a, I'm, let, me, let me say what I let me answer the okay, question okay. what Imam Malik was doing was the same thing the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was doing what okay. Shafi did was the same thing the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was doing what mm -hmm. what uh Imam Ahmad was doing was the same thing Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Mm -hmm. They transmitted. When mm -hmm. Ibn Qasim asked Imam Malik about folding the hands in the prayer, he said, "I've mm -hmm. never seen this." Mm -hmm. He said, "I've never seen this." Mind mm -hmm. you, that's a man that got ijazat from mm -hmm. nine hundred different to be to be in. Mm -hmm. not scholars, not learned people to be to be in. Mm -hmm. This is who Imam Malik was. Mm -hmm. He said he didn't start giving fatwa until he got like 70 something odd of approvals. That, that that kind of, of That's heavy, huh? My, my That's brother, Abdul Kuyir, I have to stop you here because I just asked you a small question, right? And it's a really simple answer, right? I asked you which madhab were the, because you said it was wajib. I didn't say it was wajib. I asked you which madhab were the Sahaba following. I didn't ask. You, well, uh, please, please, I let you, I let you speak. I didn't ask you which method Imam Malik, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Shafi, and Imam Ahmed bin Hanbal were following. I asked you which method were the Sahaba following, and are well, you your telling, answer to that question? Please, 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 please. I answered you. Uh, please, you didn't please, hear my answer. Please, please, please. Ah, you, you uh, please, didn't hear my please, please. You told me about this isnad and blah blah okay, blah. So and Imam, right, Imam Malik. So, you, so yes, all of what yes, I said, Imam Malik, and then Imam Malik took, took from, took from, took from, and then it, took it from the Okay, right? okay. Listen, listen. I'm that, that, that is that is Imam Malik. Okay. Are you right, listen, are, listen, listen. Are you listen, saying? Listen, are you listen, saying that Umar al-Khattab is Maliki? Is this what you're saying? Say what? Is Umar al Ibn al-Khattab Maliki? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying okay. So I, 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 no, no, okay. I'm saying now I'm saying I'm asking you. Malik. I'm saying Malik was Omari. Okay, so you I'm saying you're, Malik you're saying was Imam in Omari. He followed the Muslim of Omar. Yes, that was where what did he, he, he Malik or Allah say this? Say what? From his direct statements, where did Imam Malik or Allah say this? From his direct statements. I, I don't know if those direct statements, but that okay. those are so, those and that's are, why that's why are, my brother those are statements that were that that's, that's all what, of the all of the salaf the, mm -hmm. the actual salaf yeah. that's what they called him. 
Yeah. They, they, that, they that's, called that's, his that's, methodology the methodology of Omar. So yes, he was that, pious. That's he was what that's, yes, enough, that's what the was pious enough. Them. I don't, and want, that's, I don't that's, want you to that's, get that's, tricky with the words. He that's, was that's pious enough point. not that's to say anything about himself. The people and say a, this. And, and, and people higher, can say a lot of things. It, it's a higher, you understand? No, you can't you can't deny what scholars in the time of the Tibet Tabain said. I'm just asking very, very no, 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 don't ask a loaded question. It's not loaded. It's not loaded. It is loaded. Okay. It's loaded if you try to flip it around. You try it's to not flip it around. It's an easy question. That I'm saying that, that Omar <laughs> followed Malik. That's not even possible. I'm saying okay. Malik followed Omar. Because so, what, what, what was the original what was the original question? What 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 madhab did the Sahaba follow? Okay. And I and, and then I your told answer, you the same madhab your that answer the four followed. Your okay, so therefore. You're telling me that the Sahaba were upon the madhab of Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Malik, Imam Shafi, Imam Ahmed bin Hanbal. I don't want to put Absolutely. words in it. Absolutely. So, therefore, Umar Khattab was a Maliki. For for semantics sake, yes. It's not semantics. For semantics. It's not semantics. Sake. And I say, and I say. No, <laughs> no, no, right. no. Hey, okay, so no. let me ask you a question. <laughs> let me ask you a question. If okay. Umar taught his son to pray mm -hmm. with the hands to the side, and mm -hmm. then Umar taught that to Nafi to pray with mm -hmm. the hands to the side, and then mm -hmm. Nafi taught that to Mali to pray with mm -hmm. the hands to the side, are mm -hmm. they not all doing the same thing? Mm -hmm. If this was the case, then out of Hashmi. I'll no, 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 no. I'm not that's what, that's, That was transmitted. That's not if. There's no if there, Ah. No problem, no, no yeah. problem. If I, that was the case, al you know you al Sahih, uh, I will accept it. I will accept it. Lashak, of course. We'll take it. We'll accept it. No problem. So it's semantical. It, no, it's not semantics. You have it's to prove that. To you have, you that have, they were the, doing the, the same onus, thing. The onus of proof is on the claimant. If you can prove with an authentic chain that this is the case, then class, we'll accept it. No problem. Okay. All right, done. It's no problem. That's okay, that's so, our that's so our back. never have. Okay, so, so, so take it back. So take it back to this. Why, why do if they claim that the, if the Salafi claim that they're following the actual Salaf, how come they're not following the actual Salaf, but they're following guys that did not live in the Salaf, in the time of the Salaf? What does the word Salaf it, mean? It, it means the people who succeeded the Tabi'at Tabi'in, that generation. That's it. It means the people that came before you, correct? Yes. Okay. And what does a lot what what is the meaning of Fas Alu Ahlu Zikri in Kuntum Lata Lamun mean? We discussed that. <laughs> it means ask the people of knowledge if you do not know. Every generation has its people of knowledge. You understand? These people of knowledge are the ones who know best what the Salaf did. You understand? Absolutely. Therefore, you ask the people of knowledge in your time. Yeah. And there were plenty Malikis in the time of Alabama. <laughs> that's my that's my reservation. Why did he go and do his own thing when this Again, was established? Brother, brother, you're going into the personality. You're going, you're going into the personality of the thing and because actually you brought his personality to the to the surface. You I said was giving I was the giving best you book I, was, I read was the one by Alabama. Yes, I was giving you I was giving you an example to show you that the men hedge is not like the the question that you asked in, on the Facebook about name me a give me a Salafi fiqh book, right? It's it's not making sense because so That's again Salaf Salafi is a minhaj. Just like saying give me uh, uh the fiqh of Balaga or something. I told you this. What is fiqh of Balaga? It's not making. It's not connecting. That was my point. No, I, and it, they, yes, I, yes, they, I, they, you they, can they, disagree they, with me if you want, but go through the internet and find the people that are asking for Salafi fic books, and and <laughs> it's all that's, you're asking. That's why it's not existing because there are. Yeah. And you happen to be the first person in history to ask it <laughs> because it doesn't make sense, and that's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> you all right, that's semantics. We can leave that alone. Okay. That's just that's just that's, playing that's with words. That's just playing with words. <laughs> Because mm -hmm. what we think is a Salafi is not what y'all think is a Salafi. Yeah, because you have bad experience with Salafis. No, because 
what we say the salaf is, like what the Ahl Madahib say the salaf is, is that generation following those three blessed generations. That's what we call the salaf. Mm -hmm. And then the ones after that, we call that the khalaf. Mm -hmm. We call those, we, dis we even distinguish that so that people don't get that twisted. Mm -hmm. We got, because uh, they all hold rank. The khalaf are ahead of everybody now. The salaf was ahead of all of the khalaf. Mm -hmm. And the tabi'a tabi'in, et cetera, et cetera. We mm -hmm. won't want to get it twisted because we uphold the preservation of the chain of not the chain of the it's not the chain of narration. There mm -hmm. is no Islam. That's the mm -hmm. problem. There mm -hmm. is no Islam if there is no it's not. Okay, so the so there, there, no. are not subscribing to to you, you can't subscribe to 10 different Asani. You you okay. can't because Shafi he says. If you touch a woman, your wudu is broke. Imam Malik says it's not broke. So when the Salafiya say, oh, follow the uh, follow the, uh, the Muatta Imam Malik. Also, here's another good fit book. Follow the Risala Imam Shafi. And that's not a fit book. That's an Usulu fit book. That's not his actual fit book. That's not a Shafi fit book. So if you try to tell people to follow a Maliki fit and Shafi fit at the same time, you mixing up the Usul, the Usuliyat. Mm -hmm. You mixing it all up. They had different approaches and different styles. We believe that all of them are legit and they are correct. You only have the capacity to subscribe to one, mm -hmm. which goes to what we moving into. Do I, is it far or wide or mandatory or whatever to or not mandatory to follow a mother? I say yes semantically because unless you have complete knowledge in the hadith. Unless you have complete knowledge of the Quran, Tilawa, unless you have uh, complete knowledge in and 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 Fusha Arabi, and and mm -hmm. and the scholars have even said not just Fusha, the mm -hmm. the uh, the Kufi, the Kufi script of Arabi, the 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 dialect that the Prophet wasalam, unless you have acceptable knowledge in that. If, unless you have acceptable knowledge in the fatawa of the Sahaba, unless you have acceptable knowledge of the fatawa of the Tabi'in, unless you have acceptable knowledge of the Tabi'in, tabi and then you get to the Salah, unless you have that, you got to follow a mother, bucko, because those before you, they had that knowledge. So does how that, does that, does that who does that, not have that knowledge, this is my question, how can mm -hmm. a person mm -hmm. who does not have complete knowledge acceptable knowledge mm -hmm. in these fields mm -hmm. challenge an individual the individuals that mm -hmm. did have this knowledge and say mm -hmm. brother i have the hadith right here in sahih mm -hmm. bukhari when mm -hmm. the people of the madhab were the individuals that invented sahih bukhari so they, <laughs> the, 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 oh, the, okay the so, like a... are taking the material that the ahlam of that he created and trying to use it against them Say, brother, I got the hadith okay. right here in Sahih Bukhari. Okay, Jazakallah Jaza Khair. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Put those hadiths in that book. I do confused. Uh, Jazakallah Khair, all right? You, you're, saying, you're saying that um, the Isnad, there's no religion without Isnad, correct? Are we going to that or are we going to, is it five men? You said a lot of both. things, Akhi. I, okay, I, I, so which one? Which one? Where <laughs> we at? We on we on the it's not or I was saving the it's not for last because that was like my because my you said family. a lot of yeah. things you said so uh, many things you said it's, it, the, no the, I, the, no I, I just I just I, I brought up the uh, is it mandatory to follow a month hub and I say yes because you okay. have, to have acceptable so, knowledge that's so, that's that you want that's what, what, do, what, what did the Salafia say about that. It's mandatory to follow a method, correct? That's what you say, right? It's wajib. Unless you unless you have those qualifications, yes. It's wajib. Okay, type. It's no, it's mandatory. Uh, uh, man, yeah, wajib, yeah. mandatory. No, 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 no. Well, well, we we distinguish between wajib and and, and, and uh, wajib and follow. Okay, uh, so you're saying you get a punishment if you don't do it. Wajib is like you know. Okay, uh, you're you're telling me reason you shouldn't be doing it. You're telling me that Allah will punish me if I don't follow a method, correct? No, that's not what I'm saying. You just said it was fudder, though. It is fudder. <laughs> so that means that fudder is the things from the Quran. That's not what I'm saying. Father just well, thinking in the Quran. So you, you there's a, no way out of it. It's not it's not that if, simple. If, if if you don't if you don't do it, that's what father means. Hmm. I'm not saying that. <laughs> okay, okay. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. It when Allah Ta'ala says, Well, Akimus Salah, 
Wa atu zakah. Yep. You don't have a muhaddith that you can go to and that you've been taking from and that you've been memorizing all of the hadith, the acceptable, the non-acceptable, that whole crazy situation of the hadith. You don't have the capacity to go to a muhaddith and memorize all of that and then go and act on what you've memorized and what you've learned. You don't have that capacity. Like, like the, the muhaddithun don't even exist right now, huh? They don't, they don't exist. All we have is what they put down. So it's impossible. You can't say that you could. If you can't, find me a muhaddith. Not a person that has ijazah in hadith. Salafia, they mix that up all the time. Somebody came and asked Imam Ahmad, uh, is a person a muhaddith if he memorizes 100,000 hadith? Imam Ahmad said, no. He said, 200,000? He said, no. Name me one scholar that you know knows more than a quarter million hadith. First, the onus of proof, again, is on the claimant. You understand? You made the claim that Imam Ahmed made the statement. Then I would ask you, right, for where the isnad is. As you said, the isnad is a part of the religion. You understand? This is, this is what I wanted to avoid. I wanted to avoid dancing all over the place. You understand? The main thing is that you are saying that following a medhab is wajib and it's fard, right? If it is wajib and it is fard, that that necessitates that if I don't do it, then I'm sinning against Allah. Correct? Yes or no? For semantic sake, yes. Okay. So now it is upon you to prove from either the Quran or the Sunnah that it is wajib or okay. fard. So you didn't, you didn't, you didn't understand what I just said. I did, but you didn't prove no your response. point. You didn't prove your point. If I okay. say now, let me, let me put it a little if, bit more simple. Please, please, please. Simple. please Allah it's commanded. getting late. Uh, uh, hold it's, up now. It's getting, it's Allah, getting late. It's Allah getting late. Just let, let me finish. Let me finish my point. Okay. If I say now that is wajib for every Muslim to do the splits. They must do the splits in Islam. A Muslim can't be a Muslim unless he knows how to do the splits. What are you going to ask me? Where's the proof? Thank you. And from then, I have to prove either from the Quran or the Sunnah, either Allah saying, and the Muslims must do the splits, right. or a Hadith hey, thing. Hey, I got saying, you. I got you. Know, you. Let okay? me know when I can answer that question. Now, when you're quoting these ayat of Quran, and these are general ayat, okay, and you specify that these ayat mean the four imams, then you must bring Dalil to prove that. And what we say is that, no, it is not wajib to follow um, a madhab. What is wajib to follow the ulama? Yes. Yes, you must. And see, that face that you're making right now, look, look. look I'm the just face surprised. Of... Yes, I'm hold sorry. on. I didn't mean I... to offend you. I'm just surprised. No, it's not offensive, that. but I want, I, want to sh I, want, I want to show you something, right? The reason why you made that face, right, is because you have conceptualized in your head, you made a parallel that an alam is... A faqih and a faqih is an alam, correct? Somewhat. You somewhat yes. correct. So you cannot well, I be was an... going to be more general and say yes, a scholar. You, can, you cannot be an alam without being a faqih, and you cannot be a faqih without... That's why you made that face, because now... now no, no, in no, no, your... no, 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 no. Let me please, be clear. Please, please, that, please. No, no. Don't, please, don't say this. Please, please let me speak, brother. You can't <laughs> tell me I said something and I didn't say it. Don't do that. I, okay. I'm saying no. So explain. I'm explain. saying no. I'm not saying that. You can't okay. tell me in a very nice way that that's what I'm saying, and I'm okay, what are you, you saying? No, that's not what I'm saying. What are, what are you but saying? I, but you were kind of close. Because we specify between an alim and a faqih. We, mm. we the, the people of the, mm. the, the madhabs, we specify between mm. the two. So I'm not saying that. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying, if a person is an alim, then mm. I made that face because if a person is an alim, he got to belong to a madhab. One of the four madhabs. And I can prove mm. that. So when, I, when you finish and you let me talk, mm. I, I'll prove okay. both your points. I'm with you. I got to mm. prove that, uh, that it's mandatory to follow a madhab, and I got to yeah. prove... What I just said, 
that if you are on the island, you got to belong to a mother. I'm with yeah. you. So let yeah. me know when I when I can go. Yeah, for, for, furthermore, you said that there's no uh, Islam without the Isnad, correct? Absolutely. And, it, and there's no, uh, you know, without Isnad, you don't have Islam. Absolutely. You understand? Absolutely. There's a couple of things here, right? I'm with you with the Isnad and its importance, right? It's absolutely um, uh, necessary for the preservation of the deen, for the religion. Which came first, the religion or the Isnad? They were they were synonymous. They weren't synonymous. No, the the religion came. <laughs> right, so first. I got three things I got to prove to you. The religion came first, right? The deen came first. The isnad came after. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, okay. I mean, that's why I say the synonymous. Furthermore, because what they transmitted was the deen. So yes, exactly. So furthermore, where, where are you going with that? The what I'm trying to tell you is, is that. You will not find a hadith with Imam Abu Hanifa in it. What do you mean? But no problem. Quote me one. Like, like, like in the chain? Yeah. Quote me one. Wow. Oh. Quote me one. Subhanallah. Ah, they never taught you that. No problem. Just quote me one right now. You, ah, you're okay. the one. You're, you're the one who's telling me that it's not is from the religion, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. okay. So, okay do you so. do you know any hadith with the isnad? No. Okay. No, but I know that they exist. So I, I know Imam Abu Hanifa's chain. So he transmitted hadith. Mm -hmm. No uh, problem, Imam, no problem. Imam is it is in Bukhari? I'm sorry? Is there his hadith in Bukhari? Uh, Not particularly. Are they in Muslim? Not particularly. Are they in Tournamendi? <laughs> uh, this, okay, hold on. Time out. Let's take a Are break. They in, I, 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 time you. out. I, time out. Time out. I'm swinging asking. My, you. I'm swinging my objection hammer, my imaginary one. Right. Uh, because those are not, that's that's apples and oranges. Hold please, up. Hold no, up, it's not. Hold please, up. please, please. Hold up. I'll, 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 hold up. You gotta let me get a word in. You gotta let me get a word in. You just made okay, go ahead. Three, three different, different points. Now I gotta respond to three different three things, different not things. one. I gotta yeah. respond to three. So you gotta let me get in here sooner or later. No problem. Real quick, what you just said. Is any of Imam Abu Hanifa's hadith? I don't know. I'm pretty sure they are. Imam mm -hmm. Bukhari came after a long time after Imam Abu Hanifa. Mm -hmm. So Imam Abu Hanifa has the second highest chain of narration. Huh? So mm -hmm. yes, no problem. Imam, okay. It's so Imam Abu Hanifa does he he him they did bring us hadith. Now, Imam Bukhari, Imam Sahih Bukhari. Any Muslim, anybody in the comments, please. Not, I'm I'm willing I'm willing to not, change listen, my, it's my not mind. In Just Bukhari. give me a hadith from this the authentic hadith books. You're not listening. Or Abu Hanif is in the chain. That's it. Hold on. You're not listening. You comparing apples and oranges. Mm -hmm. The Fikul Akbar has Abu Abu Hanif's name all over it. Mm -hmm. You'll find many hadith a hadith that are sound. And, and of other conditions that are in Fikul Akbar. Mm -hmm. Imam Bukhari was a Shafi'i. Why would he transmit hadiths that supported the Hanafi viewpoint? Mm -hmm. And vast majority of the, the, the Sahih was not Fiqh. Mm -hmm. They were narrations. It was, mm -hmm. it, the Sahih is only a collection of sound narrations according to the criteria of Bukhari and according to the, to, uh, the, the criteria of Muslim. There are Sahih Hadith that are in Muslim that are not in Bukhari. Does that make mm. Bukhari wrong? No. This is not my question. There's not, there, there, are, there, are, there are sound Hadiths that are in Bukhari that are not in uh, Muslim. Does that None make Muslim this, wrong? No. Question. So a Hadith narrator, I don't think like the Salafiya have a, a, a good understanding of what the Muhaddithun are. It's so no problem. The, if, the if you want to prove me wrong, just okay, I don't, listen, I, hadith, I don't know. I, just I don't bring know. Me any hadith listen, listen, listen. with the authentic chain. It, it, a hadith. Go, authentic go hadith find a copy of Fikul Akbar. Authentic chain with yes, Abu Hanifa yes, in the yes, chain. That's yes, it. Come yes, on. Argument yes, over. Listen, Anybody listen, in the comments can do listen, it. Listen. Because it's you are saying that it's me? not from the religion, right? So that's why I brought that up. Because you're saying it's not from the religion at one point, and it's wider to follow a mother on another point. Listen, what I'm saying. You feel me? This is what I'm saying to you. There's a, there's a contradiction to you. here. 
Imam Abu Hanifa, his his a hadith with his name in the chain is in his book and his works. And the one I know of that's most famous is Fiqhul Akbar. You want to mm -hmm. see a hadith with Abu Hanifa's name in it? Go find a copy of Fiqhul Akbar. Authentic, authentic hadith. What the what? Authentic. A big did, you, did, did they not teach y'all who Abu Hanifa is? How can he have the second highest chain of narration and not authentic have authentic hadith? hadith? Ah, no problem. Ah, no problem. Ah, ah. No How problem. How can he have the second highest chain of narration? How many hadith do you know in, in Abu Hanifa's Fiqhul Akbar? How many of them do you know? Can, I, can I you quote any right I don't know any of them. Okay, but now but I know now, that's I know that's in there. My question, my question, really, all it is is please. But you you asked a loaded question as if it's not a loaded Hanifa question. didn't transmit hadith. It's not a loaded question. Okay, because... okay. So do you believe uh, do you believe if Imam Abu Hanifa transmitted sound hadith? No. It's not my off belief. Off. It's not my off. belief. That's off for the face, not you. What you I'm say? not a muhaddith. Ah. I'm not a muhaddith, but okay. again, that's ah. that, that's all right. okay, that's, okay. That's, ah. Ah. that's ah. neither here or nor there, right? Uh, it is because you asked the question. So uh, listen, I'm the here reason, to tell you. The reason why did I ask the listen, question? I'm here is to tell it, you. Ah. Ah. ah, I'm here to tell you, Imam yeah. Abu Hanifa. When I say the second highest chain of narration, that that's 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 hadith. I believe you. I believe you. Second okay. highest chain. I, I, I know it's chain. I'm I know it's just one one. That why, is like, what relevance that what relevance does that have if I know it or not? It's mm. there. It exists. Look, if I don't know it, it don't mean that it don't exist. No, I don't know. I'm not anybody a in the chat. Around. It don't mean it don't exist. Anybody in the chat? Anybody from your teachers? No problem. No problem. I, no problem. I, I got. I got. I got big. I got big Hanafi shakes on speed dial. So if it, mm. if it just takes that to make you a Hanafi, Wallahi to Allah, I'll get you. I'll get you ten of them. No I'll get the whole book for you, Wallahi. I'll no buy problem. you the book. If that no, problem. Me, no, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. Okay, my so my whole my whole issue. point. My okay, whole back point. to issues. Starting with the first one. Starting with the first one. Mm -hmm. When I say it is follow to follow a, a madhab, I'm making the the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded you to aqimu salah wa atu zakah, when he mm -hmm. commanded us to do things, those fara'id. All those things that we commanded to do, how do you go about doing it? Mm -hmm. When you need to find out when it says establish the salah, when mm -hmm. you have to learn the adhan, you have to learn wudu. Nabi mm -hmm. alayhi salam said there's no salah without wudu. And he said, Allah said that in the Quran. Nabi sallallahu alayhi salam said that in the hadith. And in and, and neither statements were you taught how to make salah nor how to make wudu so what's the next step i know allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded me as follow that i must akimu salah how do i akimu salah yani it is impossible for you to grab a hadith that a madhabi didn't touch no 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 let me rephrase for you to touch a hadith that a, a person from a madhab did not bring you when mm -hmm. you want to learn Salah, you go to Sahih Bukhari. He was a Shafi'i. Mm -hmm. You want to learn Hadith, you go to the Kitab of Wudu, and you and Sahih Muslim, he was a Shafi'i. Muslim mm -hmm. was Bukhari's student. Mm -hmm. You want some statements of with Imam Malik's name in the Hadith? Go and read al Muwatta'a, who Imam Bukhari. Do you know mm -hmm. what Imam Bukhari said about the Muwatta'a? Do you know what he said? We all push up Bukhari and Sahih mm -hmm. Bukhari. Do you know what Bukhari, your beloved Bukhari, mm -hmm. said about the Muatta? Mm -hmm. He said that was the most sound book of Hadith in existence after the Quran. Sorry, he said the most sound book in existence after the Quran. Bukhari himself said that. Yeah. So if you open up the Muatta, I forget the chains in it. Uh, Subhanallah, one of the scholars inside of the uh, in the in the what you call, it? but Imam Ma it's only Imam Malik's transmission. It's the same difference with uh, the Fikul Akbar. It was a political situation why uh, uh, Bukhari and Muslim got uh, uh, adulated, and the vast majority of the those like they didn't collect those books to be fit books. Those were collections for sound hadith books. So when I say it's mandatory, I say, yes, it's mandatory because when Allah commanded you to make salah, you need to go and find out how do you make salah. When you go and look at how you got to make salah, you either have to go the, to the pathway of Imam Ahmad or you got to go the pathway of Imam Shafi'i 
or you got to go the pathway of Imam Abu Hanifa, or you got to go the pathway of Imam Malik. There are no other chains back to the Prophet that exist today, Ox. There mm -hmm. are none. And Jazak Allah um, Khair. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You can't wrap up my point, huh? Jazak, it's, 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 it's getting late. It's 10 o'clock. Okay, so, right, so it's going right. to be in part two then. <laughs> I just I just want to wrap this up real quickly, okay? So it's going to be a part two? Uh, maybe, perhaps, if you invite me, I'll, I'll, I'll be happy to come. No problem. Okay, well, uh, hold I'll up now. I mean, if you got if you got to sign out, I'm going to, you know, because we got viewers and yeah, you yeah. made three points, I got to respond to the three points. I would rather yeah. you be here while I respond yeah. to them so that <laughs> I don't misquote you or even if you need to respond, but I got to continue. And, yeah, it's, and it's, 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 so it's, you it's your point. It's your platform, uh, you know. I, you know, I, I know you're a good-hearted brother. You're not malicious or anything like that. So, yeah, as you, as you like, as you please. But I just want to say real quickly, right? That um, we love the four imams, of course. You know, some of these we love the four imams. You know, they're from our, our imam as well. You understand? <laughs> but the four imams, their uh, what you call it? Their minhaj is is not. Uh -huh. Ah, you talking on my time. That's 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 against the rules of debate. If you gotta go, are you we gotta debating? go. If you got a couple we minutes to spare, I gotta finish my, my statement. Are we you debating? Can't talk on my time. <laughs> I didn't I think you were you, debating I, 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 I named off your three points and I said, when you done, let me go. Yeah. So you can't talk on my time. I, that's against the sooner of debate. So put the, go ahead. <laughs> so go ahead. So that, to wrap that point up, and I know mm -hmm. you got to go, so I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet. Mm -hmm. To wrap that point up, it mm -hmm. is mandatory for an individual to follow a person who knows how the Ahlul Madahib interpret, uh, 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 ask those who know, is those are the scholars. We are not the scholars. When you know, you have to have, I went through that, sufficient knowledge in all of the Islamic sciences. And you can't just be a self-proclaimed I know this, I know that. You have to be given a jazz ass from several different people. You have to sit amongst several different people who sat amongst several different people and they say, okay, he learned it. Now, these individuals all carry chains. Like Mashiach, their names are in the Isnads all the way back to the Prophet. All the way back, all 1,500 plus names. Their name, mm -hmm. so we coming hard. <laughs> we ain't coming soft. So when I say uh, it's mandatory, yes. Because like I said, you can't find a hadith that doesn't have one of the four madhabs attached to it. You will never find one of them. They don't even exist. You won't find one from Abu, uh, Abu Dawood al-Dakhiri. You won't find from uh, from Laith ibn Usaid. You won't find one. Uh, and it, and it's all, the scholars have already said, like, uh, some people is just, you know, Allah gave the gift of gab and popularity to some others. And that was the, the will of Allah that all those other madhahi, you know, faded away. The only four that we can go and look right now and say they have a chain link back to the prophet so we can believe what they say are the four schools. That's it. Ain't nobody else got that chain. So nobody else can have a claim to knowledge. They all disappeared. The second issue, uh, uh, what is the second issue? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what was the, uh, you said I made a, I made it uh, 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 follow for the YG. I mean, YG for the follow school what was the second issue? I can't remember. Uh, yeah. This is what actually this is what I wanted to avoid, anyways, because it went all over the place, right? But the main point was uh, you said that is wajib, it is far to follow a madhab. I say no, it's not. It's far to follow an alim, yes, and we specify. Oh. Let me interrupt you. That's what the second point was. <laughs> An alim, you just reminded me. An mm -hmm. alim having to be from a madhab. Yeah. You can't be an alim if you don't belong to a madhab because like Sahih, like uh, like Imam Muslim said, knowledge is through isnad. Mm. Unless people will just say anything. Mm. Yeah. That was in his introduction mm -hmm. to his book. Mm -hmm. He was trying to impress upon people because, you know, they, they wrote their books because there were so many fabricated hadiths. Yeah. And that was the reason. So, okay, bro. So if, if you're an alim, mm -hmm. you have to have learned from somebody who learned from somebody who learned from somebody all the way back to the prophet. 
because okay. knowledge is transmitted. It's not made up. It's not like you pick up a book, you pick up the Quran, you pick up the Hadith, and you say, okay, I, I know what's going on. That ain't how Islam works. Allah gave it to Jibril. Jibril gave it to the Prophet. Prophet gave it to the Sahaba. Sahaba gave it to the Tabi'een. The Tabi'een gave it to the Tabi'at Tabi'een. The Tabi'at Tabi'een gave it to the Salaf. The Salaf gave it to the Khalaf, and it was done after that. So if you claim if you are in Alim, then you are connected. You in that you in you connected to that. You have mm -hmm. to you you have you so, have to so has to not, has to not bust the, or has to not bust you, the, how, 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 how can has we not bust the, not not, which which yeah. alim was he following? Hassan al Basri. Who? Hassan al Basri. Hassan al Basri is agreed upon that Hassan al Basri was a mujtahid. He didn't follow anybody. But you just said the yes of yes. I, 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 I said <laughs> It's mandatory See? for everybody except a mujtahid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You gotta go okay. and research what a mujtahid is. Okay. And the Sahaba were which which uh, which uh, method did they follow again? Because you didn't answer that. I did answer it. How yeah, you, can't remember? you answered it. Oh, okay. Slow all the way down. No, no, no. I don't. I'm, I don't need a long you, explanation. You, you, I'm a rewind. I just need. I'm a, I just listen, need I'm a rewind this and it. put a, and a, put a sound bite of what answer. I answered the question. Were, were they Maliki? They followed the mahab of the prophet. You just missed what I just said. Okay, all right. The prophet gave it to the so now, sahab. So now, is it, is it haram the for me to the follow the mahab of the prophet? It's transmitted. It's the same. Like I said, how could Allah Bani? Has saw he, what he, the prophet did if he didn't live in a time when the snap was been passed around. If legit, legit, did. Legit, oh, so like, like ten, so, okay, listen, and I, and he spoke for Allah, almost fifteen Allah minutes. Allah <laughs> Bani contradicted Imam Malik. So you got these two people who are both claiming to be scholars. How are me and you who are laymans? We got Al Bani saying this. We got Malik saying that. Mm. Who are we gonna believe? Mm. Okay. I, I want to believe Al Albani. I want to. I want mm -hmm. to. Okay. But y'all got to follow the rules like everybody else. Just, Where just, is Al Albani? Aki, you spoke for now. It's like like almost seventeen minutes. You spoke, Aki. All right. Well, I, 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 I can't even get a, a word in. <laughs> you know what no, I mean? And you spoke for a whole lot longer than that. <laughs> and, uh, Aki, come on. When 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 you watch when you watch. When you watch the interview over again, right? You'll right. see. Right. 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 The point of the fact of the matter is what the four imams brought. This is the fact of the matter. This, oh, is, the answer. Allah, 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 this is the answer to your question. <laughs> what <laughs> Malik brought, he brought what was given to him by okay. the Tabi Ain. And they allow, got allow me, allow me to speak. Allow thing, me to huh? speak, please, Abdul Kabir. Please allow me to speak. And please don't disturb me. Please don't interrupt me. Okay. Okay. Abdul Kabir. I asked you just like plain, plain questions, right? And the fact of the matter is, is that you can't prove that you have to follow a method. You, you're not able to do that. It's impossible, right? You can prove that you have to follow the Salaf though from the Quran and the Sunnah. Let's, let's say, for example, we don't know Imam Malik. We don't know Imam Shafi. We don't know Imam Abu Hanifa. We don't know Imam Ahim bin Hanbal, right? We don't know them. Let's say that they're not in the picture. How do we prove from the Quran and the Sunnah that it's wajib, according to you, right, to follow these four imams? You can't do it. But you can prove that it's wajib, not only wajib, but it's fathered from the Quran and the Sunnah to follow the Salaf. As Allah says in the Quran, Audhu Bilal Ibn Shana Rajim, okay so allah says in the quran and whoever opposes the messenger after guidance becomes clear to him and follows you know guidance is made clear to him and, and he he follows away other than the believers what does that have to do with anything are you gonna let me finish 
I'm like you said you don't want this to go all over the place. You taking it all over the place. What does that no, got to I'm, do with anything? Are you letting me finish? Are you gonna allow me to finish? I'm I'm lost and I'm sure the viewers are lost. What how does that apply to this? Allow, are you gonna allow me to finish? All right. And whoever uh, uh, follows away other than the believers, then we will give him what he has taken and drive him into hell, and evil is that destination. So Allah has commanded to follow who? The believers in this ayat here. Who are the believers here? I'm asking you now. Just answer quick, quickly. Who are the believers here? I know that. I know that ayat. That's talking about the Sahaba. Sahaba. Khalas. Right? So it's wajib to follow who? The Sahaba. <laughs> now, we know this, and this is what Salafiyah is. This is what we say. You can shake your head, but that's what we say, right? All right, give me an example. Which Sahaba y'all follow? All of them, of course. Uh, the that's believers. Not, that's not the pro the prophets. The that's not possible. I'm going to give you an example. That's not possible. Ahi, when it came, when it came to answer, to ask the question and allow me to answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Allah said, other than the believers. He didn't say the believer. Now, if you are saying that it's one believer, then you have to prove that. So pretend now we don't know Malik, we don't know no Shafi, we don't know Hanbal, we don't know uh, Ahmed bin Hanbal, we don't know. This is uh, unbelievable. We don't we don't know them. That's right? impossible. I, 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 I prove. I, 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 I prove. I'm being real. From brother brother, I prove. I prove. Uh, from brother to brother. Just I'm telling you right Can't. now because if you if you <laughs> give me the permission to answer that question, I you listen. I, it's gonna Zach, be very it's gonna be thirty brothers in your inbox. Like, ah, right, you need to go back and learn your fifth. And just, uh, dude, they I'm can say whatever they like, I'm, I'm, but do not but, let me answer that question. Switch exactly, it. I'm, I'm, I'm being actually, I'm please, my brother. You Switch spoke the for question, twenty right? minutes. I literally got on. I got on like at ten oh oh six. It's ten oh nine now. And again, you're not letting me say anything. <laughs> I just want. I just wanted you to. I just. You I just want to you extend the olive branch, my brother. I want to go to sleep. It's ten hey, o'clock. Change the subject. <laughs> I, don't make. Don't make me answer that question. Please <laughs> change the subject. Because I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be embarrassing to your level of understanding of hadith and and fit and all that. Everybody claims that to love Layla, but Layla hasn't affirmed her love for any of them. I, you can. I a claim is just a claim until you prove it. Continue. Let me tag up, up you. Up until in. now, up until now, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if you met a Salafi like me. Have I been rude to you? No, no. Have I, have I called you any epithets? No. Have I said you're dull, mudil, and no, no, no. And we don't, no. We don't gotta discuss that. We are. No, no. I've been completely respectful. I respected your time. I respect your platform. Correct? You agree, right? Absolutely. Okay. Right. So. This is the Salafi way. That's the real Salafi way. You understand? And when I'm saying that we follow the evidence, it's very, very easy. It's simple. It just bring us a, a hadith or something. You know, yes, you must follow Imam Malik or <laughs> something like this. You know what I mean? Plus, you, what you said, what you said about uh, there's a chain, a snad from Imam Malik to such as to, to whatever, Umar Khattab, Imam Malik, whatever, right? This chain that Imam Malik prayed with his hands on his side. al Rasi, Alex, it's no problem. It's no problem. That's our madhab. You understand? The authentic narrations. But you have to show it's authentic. That's it, course. If you can show it, we'll take it. Okay? Jazakallah khair. Nice talking to you. Uh, <laughs> my wife is going to beat me up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. But, All right. I appreciate you coming on uh, the the platform. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, it. Uh, inshallah, we can do it again. Inshallah, it's no problem. Okay. I have All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Just like that. Salaam alaikum, Rasulullah, barakatuh.